This is an artistic congregation, a cheerful march with puppets which brought together children and adults, parents and their children, artists and art lovers. In a word, all who seek to spend a day full of joy participate in this event. These puppeteers with their puppets have a motto, which is the sky is full of blue dolls. They've invited all people interested in puppets to attend the 16th International Puppet Festival of Iran. این سال تو این دوره جشنواره ما مثل دورهای قبلی بخش بین الملل داریم، بخش صحنه داریم، بخش فضای باز داریم. تو بخش صحنه و فضای باز ما پذیرای کارهایی از همه ایران هستیم. از شهرهای مختلف گروه های زیادی در سه دوره یعنی در سه مرحله شرکت کردند تا در انتها 27 اثر در بخش صحنه 28 اثر و 16 اثر در بخش فضای باز پذیرفته شده Just like it's crystal clear what this event represents, it's also very clear what the goals of the event organizers are. The festival wants to familiarize people with not only puppets but dolls and tie them together with not just the Iranian culture but the culture of the entire world in regards to this form of art. To get better acquainted with this art form in Iran, we went behind the scenes of a play during the rehearsal. The play is an adaptation of legendary Persian heroes. We've come upon a rehearsal of a play. The play is very unique. It depicts the story of Bahram, an Iranian king who was a valiant zebra hunter, but now he's being haunted by terrible dreams. The zebras he's killed are haunting him in the dreams. Let's take a look at the scene. نمایش اقتباسی بسیار آزاد از هفت پیکر نظامی اثر ارزشمند نظامی گنجوی است و داستان به این صورت هستش که بهرام گور پس از گذراندن هفت شبانه روز در هفت گنبد با هفت شاه دخت از هفت اقلیم مختلف در شب هشتم دچار کابوسی میشه گور خرهایی که در طول عمرش شکار کرده بود به سراغش میان برای انتقام Harnessing the valuable Persian literary histories of adaptation of wonderful Persian tales is one of the main goals of the event this year. But you can also see and witness other historical narratives and traditions of different ethnic groups from all over the world too. ما یک نمایش میدانی رو آوردیم که یک آین از مردم کردستان رو به اجرا میذاره. این آین برای مبارزه یا در واقع تحمل سرما و پیشواز بهار انجام میشه Okay. Now the street theater behind me may not seem really interesting. Why? Because they're using old recycled bottles and water bottles and like that, right? But what's really cool is what they're doing is they're teaching the children as they're entertaining the children. They're teaching the children to recycle and they're entertaining the kids with the bottles and they're showing them, hey, if you take these bottles and you throw them in the street, it's really detrimental to the environment. I hope you're enjoying this latest Iran feature so far. تئاتر عروسکی فقط مال بچه ها نیست اگرچه بچه ها مشتری های خیلی خوب و پر با قرص و دوست داشتنی همیشه آثار عروسکی بودن و تو این جشنوارم ما خیلی خوشحالیم که پذیرای خانواده ها و بچه ها بودیم The artists at the festival this year have used different techniques to present their puppets marionettes shadow puppets glove puppets or a mixture of different techniques are all being used this year to draw as many people to the festival as possible They say hard work always pays off, and that was true after witnessing all the hard work of the artists as they received their awards. The winners were all smiles as the awards were being handed out at the closing ceremonies.
Well, I hope you enjoyed this latest feature by the Iran program. For the one, the only Iran program, I am Reza Nayebi. People, thank you for tuning in. Thank God for another day. Hey, Mo'azeb al-Khotun, Bashin. Khotun, you're in cash, but 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 you're in c